I'm Joseph Casimiro. Um, my, my award is the Loyola Schools uh, Award for Poetry. Uh, my whole writing operates on one fact that to write is to witness. I guess it comes from the very idea that uh, you cannot write material that does not come from uh, your experience. Or at least if you were creating or speculating an experience, it would somehow find similarities or resonances or allusions to something very familiar to, to you. That's why to write is to witness, and conversely it also means that to witness is to write. My first acts of writing started at home. My grandmother, in fact, was a poet. She, although she never published her works, she often kept um, stacks of poems and she had her friends read her poetry on, uh, on, on special occasions, for instance, like Christmas or birthdays. She would give um, poetry to, to her friends or to the people special to her. To write is to witness in that sense. For her, life was so important that every instance of it was meant a poem, that every poem was, was also a homage to life in that sense. My second act of writing, if I were to consider it, started really as a journal. Uh, started in high in campus journalism. Uh, in high school, I, I started writing about uh, my, my 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 alma mater. I started writing about um, initially sports. Uh, I also started writing about um, news features in in, uh, in in school, and that's how my 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 writing was very much informed by by the the reality around me. But eventually, I realized that there was more to writing prose, and that would be poetry. Uh, I grew up always in the, with that concept that to write poetry was to write that which was not prose. And if, if one could render um, the instances of one's life into a particular poem, it, it would create a very majestic and well-thought-out uh, work of art. But there's always that, that threat that's, that faces uh, poetry. That's why I guess it's also important to say that to write is to witness. Because the other side of, not, of witnessing is to not witness or to be uh, voluntarily indifferent towards an incident. And the greatest threat therefore to, to writing or to poetry in general is indifference, the lack of humanity, the lack of, of care for what is personal or for what is even communal or for what is intimate or for what is exterior to, to the self. That absolute loss of care, it, it really is devastating. Um, and I guess this is what my grandmother has taught me. In, in the many years that, that I've been writing, and recently I've been writing poetry, uh, it's been my medium of concentration, I, I, realized, I realized that um, that the influences are, that really inform my work are, are mostly those who worked underground. For instance, like the poet Emmanuel Lacaba, who was... Uh, a member of Heights and the Gaidon, the two leading publications of the university. Uh, after college, or after his stay in college, he moved to the mountains during the martial law era to go against a dictatorship that uh, knew no humanity. And, and for Lakaba, to speak against the dictatorship was to speak for humanity. That was his way of witnessing. And his witnessing was featured through his writing. And in his writing, he became a witness for, for his readers. And that was a very uh, important and particular thesis, I guess, that um, resonates in a lot of the writings of many poets and of many writers in general. To write is to witness. To share a story is to not just share a story, but to make that story another person's story. You cannot give without a receiver. And it, it's, it's amazing how my grandmother and Eman Lakaba, these two particular poets, brilliant poets for me, have, have given me directly, indirectly, personally, impersonally, writing, witnessing, material, even a sense of value and a sense of being that I wish to share to to, to my readers to, and to the, those who, who are just interested in furthering the agenda of humanity. My, my whole writing has been informed by, by this philosophy and I seek to present it to uh, as many individuals as possible. And in that case, uh, I, I, I hope that they, they pass it on, like the film Pay It Forward. 
exactly that thesis to for pay it forward to other individuals not because it's Judah but because it's necessary for us to be human it's necessary for us to speak of what is there